All right, this is Pony Prepper Bill. I am at Harrisville Lake, and there's a trail over here that I keep seeing. Boy, this thing gets dark and bright, dark and bright. I'm not sure where it goes, but I've been wanting to take it for a long time. Looks like it's rained back here. I don't see any footprints back here at all. So this might not be a good idea. But, let me see here. Uh, it looks like the trail is... Hmm. Trail is overgrown. Maybe can't get back here. Went to the store yesterday. I mean, we went last week, just got a couple things because we were out. Hold on. So, ooh, this tree looks like it might fall down on top of me here. Uh, yeah, we just got a couple things the other day because we were out. Saw a lot of shortages. Couple bare spots. So we went yesterday. Ooh, my fat body don't fit between these trees. Went to BJ's, Aldi's, ShopRite to do our normal shopping. And, uh, you know, because they're real close, like the same shopping center, the next shopping center or something. All of them in a mile or two. Uh, went to BJ's and the frozen section, I mean, they had regular meat, like ground beef, stuff like that, and steaks, chicken. But as far as, like, the freezer section, empty. I wish I had my phone or a camera with me yesterday. Almost everything we were looking for is gone. Bare spots all over the shelves. I mean, you could see through the freezer section to the the next aisle. It was bad. Camera keeps flipping. Anyway, I've been wanting to get oil. Somebody told me that they're having a hard problem getting oil for their pickup and trucks and oil filters. Well, went. When we were at PJ's, the aisle where they have all the oil and stuff like that. Two people there with shopping carts loading up with oil. And, I, you know, I was going to get some for my pickup and some for the ambulance. And I put 1540 in that. There was none of that. Big tree laying down. Uh, the guy was saying, he's a truck driver. And he says... He said, you think shortages are bad now? He said, wait, real soon it's going to get worse. The trucks are going to stop rolling because they cannot get oil. He said he works for a big trucking company. Uh, they order like 2,000 gallons of oil at a time. Which where I used to work, we did the same thing. We used to get like 1,000 a, a gallons, I think, of 1540, you know, uh, diesel oil, regular oil for the pickups, stuff like that. Gear oil was in big bulk containers. He said they don't have any. They can't do maintenance on the trucks. Can't get filters. Tractor trailers that are brand new, that are under warranty, you have to have maintenance done to them. They can't do it. He said the 2,000 gallon tank they have They've been out for a while. They've been running these trucks, just adding oil from what they can get here and there at just different stores. But you know they have uh, like a contract. We know like with certain companies that bring the oil and stuff like that. They said it's going to be like six months before they can look forward to getting oil. So. 
I got a couple quarts or a couple gallons of oil for my pickup. They didn't have the oil that I wanted for the ambulance, but you know, I can put anything in that really. Well, I guess any oil is better than no oil. And a couple of people are saying that Walmart's got oil, but I wouldn't trust putting Walmart oil in my car unless it was an emergency. And then we went to Aldi's. Uh, a couple of people there with shopping carts full of stuff, getting full of canned. One shopping cart was full of soup, uh, canned vegetables, canned uh pasta sauce all that stuff and i'm like wow you're really stocking up and they just looked at each other and she's like well now's the time to be stocking up if you haven't and you should have been we're like yeah that's what we're doing you know we stock up and she's like no if you've been stocking you need to stock up more their son and neighbor are truck drivers and they said the same thing they said, if you think shortages are bad now and you can't find anything, they said the trucking industry is going to come to a halt. They said they can't get oil. A couple of the, I don't know if it was Cisco Foods or, you know, the ones that delivered all the different places, they're not going to be running. And it's not because of uh, truck driver shortages. It's because of oil. They can't get oil. They can't do maintenance. If you're a company, a big company, and you got 40, 50, 60, 100 brand new tractor trailers, I mean, under warranty, you've got to have maintenance done. If you can't do oil, if you can't get oil and change the oil, get filters, are you going to keep driving them? Avoid your warranty? I don't know. It's nice out here. It was sunny as hell when I came out. I planned on coming out here earlier to look at all the colors and everything. Sunny, gorgeous, beautiful sky. And of course, my luck. I had to go to the bank. I had to help the neighbor bury an animal. And then uh, had to get out of pig food. Had to go get pig food. On my way here, pff, dreary sky. Looks like it's gonna rain. Of course. Hmm. This trail just keeps going and going and going, and I keep coming across these bridges. They look like they're made out of old pallets. And I don't see any footprints, any recent footprints. And here comes a long, narrow one. No water, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. So I've been walking about 45 minutes. I took a break. There's really nowhere to sit down. Everything's wet and I'm scared of getting chiggers and ticks. No bridge here. I don't know when the last time somebody came down here. I think this is a four mile trail. I went over those little rickety bridges. Look at this. Down the end, the thing goes like this. Uh, and there's a lot of water. 
That's like eight eight foot drop. So I've been walking for over an hour. I'm not turning around and going back. There is no way to cross this without going over this bridge. Ugh. So the sun's starting to come out. I guess that's a good thing. It looks like I do see a bicycle track. Whether he made it all the way across, I don't know. So I'm going to walk across here because I'm not turning around. And uh, hopefully I make it. Maybe I should go live and wait for people to come on. So if I do fall through, somebody can call 911. <laughs> Holes. <laughs> it's nice out there though and the sun's coming out can you see how this goes down <laughs> oh shit so I'm almost across. I got a couple more feet to go. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. There are a couple bicycle tracks, I think they are. Ah. I wish I had one of those clicker things so I knew how many uh, miles or whatever I was walking. I don't think any cars or trucks have been going down there in a long time. Part of a guardrail. I'm getting out of breath. This is a long walk. Alrighty, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Okay, I guess now I'm at the halfway point. So I think that's the one I want, two miles. All right, so I got two miles to go. Oh, I thought I was almost done. <laughs> no, I'm halfway. You gotta be careful because a lot of these trails cross the Batona Trail. And that's a 53 mile trail that goes through the Pine Barrens, you're not coming out of that in a day. So, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. My back is killing me, so this might have been a mistake. I got a bad back, I don't know what I was thinking. There's other things I wanted to say, I'll have to wait till I get to the end. I thought I could do this walking and talking. I must be getting towards the end because I hear cars. I see cars. I'm almost out. Civilization. So it said it was a four mile a four mile loop. I thought it was taking me back to the parking lot where I was. No. I got about a half a mile walk back to my truck. <laughs> All right, I'm back in the parking lot. There's my truck. It is 3.40, 3.45. I'm whooped. Now I gotta take a break. So yeah, I'm back at my truck. It took two hours to do the four mile loop. Uh, a lot longer than I thought. There was more things I wanted to talk about, but this video is gonna be too long. The main thing was the oil and the possible truck driver uh the trucking industry shutting down soon maybe i mean i can't confirm all this but the people i've talked to were talking about you know i mean two of them were truck drivers and the other was you know the family were truck drivers saying you better start stocking up because you it's going to get worse so start stocking up get oil if you can for your car for your truck whatever your lawnmower 
uh, possibly get a filter if you need it and you know I did that four miles I was gonna carry a backpack to show secret stuff that you know yeah I can carry a 40 or 50 pound backpack if I did I'd be dead I'd still be out there I know my limitations I'm in pain right now tomorrow I'll be paying for that walk but if I had a backpack I'd still be out there waiting for the rescue helicopters to come so no backpack for me for a while and no more uh, four mile loops I thought a loop came right back around no not a half a mile down the road so this is Pony Prepper Bill and I'll do another video on a couple other subjects but that's what I got for now. Start stocking up. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.